Hey Sandemals Fire, what do you do when you were supposed to put a video up on Wednesday and then you decide to put it up on Friday instead and on Wednesday you would have been perfectly capable of making the video and then on Friday your throat is really gross and you sound like this and you have an idea for a video but you don't want to sound really weird on the video when you make this particular idea? Answer, you just go with the storytelling theme and make something up in the 10 minutes you have to film before you go to work. So I could tell my drinking stories except I don't have that many so I kind of tell them a lot and most of the people on this channel have already heard them live. Amy, if we meet face to face, you will probably hear it then too, so I'm not going to put you guys through hearing it again, I'm just going to tell some other stories, and the first thing that came to my mind was bikes. Not because I'm an avid biker, but just because it took me a long time to learn a bike because I had a lot of bike related trauma as a kid. So first of all, when I was like three years old, I had this bike that was probably way too big for me, and it had training wheels on it, and I would ride it around in this little concrete slab we had in the backyard, and one day, I fell off of that bike, and I landed on my tooth. It turns out if your tooth goes through that kind of trauma, it can become dead. It just stops being an alive piece of your body, and it turns this weird grayish color. Now, if it happens to an adult tooth, they'll do something about it, but when it happens to a baby tooth, I mean, it's gonna fall out eventually, so who cares? So for a chunk of my childhood, I just had this gray-black front tooth, and I actually only remember this because I was recently looking through some elementary school yearbooks, and in a lot of pictures it looked like I had a gap in my teeth, but I didn't remember losing my teeth that early, and then I realized it probably looks that way because there was a black tooth in my mouth. And by the way, I don't know entirely how accurate that story is since it happened when I was really young. I don't remember the fall or anything, I just distinctly remember having this weird colored tooth that eventually fell out, and the tooth that replaced it was a normal white tooth. My other bike story also involves falling on my teeth, and my mom. She watches this channel. Hi mom! She hates when I tell this story. So I don't remember how old I was when this happened, but I was at that age where you're starting to be like, yeah, you shouldn't be seen with training wheels anymore, you kind of have to learn the two wheels. So we were trying to learn in the driveway, and my mom was doing that thing, you know, that parents do. They like run behind the bike, and they're holding onto the bike seat, and they're keeping it upright, and then you go, and then eventually they let go, and you just keep going, and you're like, oh, I can do this because there's someone behind me, and then you look back and realize they're gone, and for like a second you're biking on your own, and then you fall over because you realize they weren't there anymore. Now, I don't question the method because it works pretty well. It shows you like, hey, look, you can do this on your own. Go give it another try. Except when you do that, the parent is supposed to like help you up, put you back on the bike, and then you try again. It's not what happened in this case. I kind of remember it in slow motion, like I fell off the bike kind of sideways, and I was on my knees in the driveway, and I was like, okay, well that was unpleasant, but not the worst thing in the world. Now, I don't know if my mom just hadn't noticed that I had fallen off the bike, or if she just couldn't stop herself, but she was still running full tilt behind me, leg right into the back of my head, drives my face right into the gravel driveway. So I get up, blood just running down my face, she's freaking out, we go inside, try to clean up my face, discover that I've just lost my first tooth. My dad actually spent like two hours combing the driveway to find that tooth. Or a reasonably tooth-shaped rock, I'll never know for sure, but he put a lot of work into it. Anyway, long story short, I didn't learn how to ride a bike for like two or three years after that. Alright, St. Elmo's Fire, I'm sorry that this video was somehow both late and rushed. I hope you all have a great Halloween, and that the next time we meet, I won't sound like this, and I can do the video I was supposed to do two days ago. See ya.